In the Gospel accounts, we read about many miracles that were performed by Jesus. And especially, we seem to be drawn to the healing miracles, where Jesus came to the assistance of those who were struggling with infirmities and disabilities of many different sorts, and He came to their aid and provided them with healing through the power of God. The story that we're examining today is the story of a blind man who was healed by Jesus. And it's found in Matthew and Mark, as well as in Luke 18, verses 35 through 42. Mark even tells us this man's name. His name was Bartimaeus, and he was in a very, very poor state. He was a blind beggar, and just about as low as you could possibly go in Jewish society. For the most part, the Jewish people looked at things like sickness and disabilities as punishments from God. In their way of thinking, good people were blessed by God, and bad people were punished by God. And this is why Job, who thought himself to be a good man, felt that he did not deserve to be punished. But Jesus never taught this and on at least one occasion explained that God did not punish people in this way, as we read in John 9, verses 1 and 2. But because of this prevailing idea, persons like this blind man would have been ignored and avoided by most people, unable to work, and was forced to beg for the necessities of life. Well, this man must have heard about Jesus and how that he had healed others. And he called out to Jesus and was eventually able to get Jesus' attention. And it's interesting that Jesus asked the man what he wanted him to do. Perhaps he was testing this man's faith. We, we really don't know. But it was not something that Jesus often did. But immediately Jesus healed this man, and we can only imagine the joy and the excitement of this man as he walked down the road with Jesus. Friends, there are so many things that we can take from this story. Jesus was about to enter Jerusalem for the last time. He was about to begin the time that would ultimately culminate in his death on the cross. He would be greeted initially as a king, and this ties in well with man calling Jesus the son of David. This is a term that would only be used to refer to a king or to the Messiah. But it also reminds us that the angel had foretold Mary that her son would be like a king, be a king like David, and would rule upon his throne forever, Luke 1, 32 and 33. But the healing of this blind man was also a fulfillment of the prophecy of Isaiah that Jesus read while he was in the synagogue in Nazareth in Luke 4 verses 13 through 30. In particular, the predictions that he would give recovery of sight to the blind and release the oppressed certainly can be seen fulfilled in the healing of this blind beggar Bartimaeus. The persistence and determination of the blind man is another lesson from this story. He had heard about Jesus and hoped that he would be able to come to his aid and would not give up until he had spoken to Jesus. But the most obvious point in this story is Jesus' compassion and his care for all people, even for this blind beggar, a man in the lowest position of that society. Jesus was on his last journey. No doubt he had many cares and, and many thoughts that were weighing upon him at this time. He was not far from Jerusalem and from the cross that awaited him there. But yet he took the time to stop and to heal this blind beggar. A man who wanted to see, who had faith that Jesus would be able to heal him. And Jesus was moved with compassion, and through the power of God, this man's sight was restored. Friends, we want to thank you for joining us for our program today. We hope that God blesses you with a wonderful day today, and we would like to invite you to join us at Pyburn Street Church of Christ this evening at 6 o'clock for midweek Bible study. We will have classes available for all ages, and a warm welcome is extended to you.